Lastly, I want to show you a comparison with long division and bills. It can help students understand how long division works. Here we have 711 divided by 3, and we're comparing it to a money amount where we have $700 bills, and then one $10 bill, and then one dollar coin. And dividing by three means that we have three people that are trying to divide this amount of money evenly. And so starting out with the hundreds, three people can divide these hundreds, hundred dollar bills evenly, but they can, each one of them can get 200, right? If they are people number one, two, and three. And then there will be this 100 left over that they can't divide. And here it shows like this, three goes to seven, two times. So everybody gets 200. And then we multiply two times three and subtract. And our remainder is 100. This is the remainder now. Now the next step, we will go trade this $100 bill into 10, $10 bills. So I have to draw them here. And here in the long division, we are dropping down this one, 110, next to the 100, and we have now 11 tenths that we can continue dividing. And now one person here can get three tenths, another can get these three, and another can get these three tenths, and there will be two tenths left over that they can't divide. So we have everybody gets three tenths, and the remainder, two tenths. Now this last 10 is now traded into, no, the last two tens, I'm sorry. They are traded into 21 coins. Like that. And we have one here, drop down and three goes to 21, seven times. So everybody will get seven $1 coins. And the division was even.